What I wanted to talk about is the transition from high school to college. For any student, disability or not, the transition from high school to college is a very, very difficult one. It's a completely different environment. It's much less structured in college than it is in high school. Uh, you don't have to, in high school, one of the things that is good for ADHD students, uh, and I'm sure is their biggest curse personally, is that you're told that you have to be somewhere at every given moment of the day. There's a place that you have to be. You have this much time to move from this place to another place. And although it's a major problem for them to cope with that, the structure, the inherent structure that is placed around them is actually a good thing. And that really kind of helps guide them through their day. And as you'll see, hopefully tonight, and as you've experienced hopefully in the past, structure is one of the things that is crucial to someone with ADHD. Um, and when you enter into an environment where there is much less structure, in many college campuses, uh, class attendance is optional. There is, uh, the, there is very little feedback during the semester as opposed to going from a senior in high school where you get a quiz every couple of days or a test every couple of weeks. Uh, when you're in college, and many students have a huge amount of difficulty facing the fact that maybe you get a midterm or a paper and a final. And a lot of these students, when they go off to college, don't get that feedback, especially if it's negative feedback, until it's too late. And that's a huge problem. That, the uh, much more reduced structure around them, the lack of feedback that they have, and also there are a number of legal changes. The key word that I want to talk about tonight and continue to emphasize is being proactive. Because if you're aware of these changes and you are aware of what you're going to be facing and if you take steps ahead of time, you're in a much better position not to be challenged or stopped in your track. So we all know that students with ADHD are extremely bright students. Okay? They have extremely, extremely high potential. But because of the lack of structure, because of the fact that they don't have their parents supporting them the same way they did when they were younger, because the law changes, they are at high risk. 